Take me home, take me home to the land of the Pecos. Near that stream, let me dream neath the sky. This old heart keeps on beating, repeating fond echoes of the brave and the bold riding. During the 1870s, the wildest spot in the United States was the desolate region west of the Pecos River. Virtually beyond the reach of the authorities, the railroads, then pushing their way west, attracted the most vicious characters in the country. It was said that all civilization and law stopped at the east bank of the Pecos. It took one man, a lone storekeeper who was sick of the lawlessness, to change all this. His name was Judge Roy Bean. need much, does he? Can you blame him? Sitting there in jail for no reason at all. He is a nice looking fella, isn't he, laddie? That has nothing to do with it. He's a nice person, I can tell. Yeah, I sent a fella to prison once. Robbed Levin Banks and killed a deputy sheriff. You never in your life saw such a good looking fella. This man's no killer or a thief. Don't you think I know a criminal when I see one? Now, that's a good question. What does a criminal look like? Oh, men! Uncle Roy, you can't keep that man in jail just because Samson's afraid of him. Just because he's got the biggest ranch in the county doesn't make him right. You got it all figured out, haven't you? Yes, I have. Well, now, that's feminine logic for you. I never could understand why they called justice a woman. You're a pretty-looking little thundercloud, Letty. Uncle Roy thinks justice should have been a man. The lady's in a hurry to let our prisoner out of jail. Well, don't be in too big of a hurry. You were right and sent me out to Samson's ranch. What'd you find? Samson gave me these. Dug them out of Johnny's saddlebag one day. Your favorite clippings. Well, why, why would he want to carry those around for two and a half years? Maybe he was proud of them. What are you two up to now? Three bandits who held up the Wells Fargo stagecoach today began two years of jail sentences. The two Grover brothers, Grad and Howard, will serve their terms at the state penitentiary. John Dexter, who stoutly maintained his innocence throughout the trial, was sent to the Riverton prison. Well, Letty, you're right about one thing. He's a good-looking fella. Johnny, you feel like talking yet? Uh, what for? You wouldn't believe me. Well, I'll believe any man when he find out he's lying. Even an ex-convict. How'd you find that out? I guess I'll always have that hanging over my head. Not to me, Johnny. You served your time. You got out, and that's that. So forget it. Now, what about this thing between you and Samson? Well, working for Samson meant a little money and a new start place to sleep and time to think. And you did work for him. He said you didn't. I worked for him six months until he went nosing around my saddlebag and found those. Hey, one of these clippings said there was eight bags of gold dust taken that had never been found. You got it figured, Judge. That's what's prodding in Samson. He's sure I know where the gold is. Do you, Johnny? No. I never saw any of it. But Samson wouldn't believe me. 
He wanted me to split with him, or he'd have me thrown into jail on some trumped-up charge. Almost any story would put an ex-convict back in jail. Now tell me the rest of it. How much money did Samson pay you for the six months' work? Well, the deal was a horse, a rope, and $30 a month. 180 bucks, and I never got any of it. Well, it's quite a story, young. And you don't believe a word of it. Well, that's where you're wrong, I do. It's my job to prove it. It's going to take a lot of proving. Something in that jail interest you, mister? Yeah, you're holding a prisoner, and I'd like to talk to him. I figured you wanted something. You were sticking close enough behind me. We were talking about the prisoner. What do you want with him? Well, that's my business. Yeah, well, the prisoner's my business. You'll have to tell me more than that. He's an old friend, and I want to help him. He hadn't got much help from friends before. Now, look, if I can't get into jail to talk to him, how do I get him out? What's his bail? His fine. I'll pay it. Now, let's get this straight, mister. I'm the law around this part of the country, and I haven't set bail on Johnny Dexter yet. And until I do, he stays right where he is. He's a lot safer in jail. Well, you small town bench pounder. I want that fellow out of jail. I'm going to see that he gets out. You do a lot of talking, mister. Why don't you learn how to listen? All right. I tried to do it the easy way. Now I'll do it my way. Who's that man, Uncle Roy? Uh, he never told me his name. He claims to be a friend of our prisoner. Well, I guess he's convinced. He's riding out of town. Yeah, I wouldn't be too sure how long he'll stay. If I was you, I'd go down and keep an eye on that jail, Jeff. Small town pitch powder. Exactly. Afraid somebody might get in. People break into jail often around here? Some gent wanted to talk to you mighty badly. Yeah, what do you want? He says he's your friend. But he didn't seem friendly at all. or reach for your gun. Just act like nothing's happened. You must want to talk to Johnny pretty badly. I do. Open that jail door, or I'll blow a hole in you. Jeff, do as he tells you. I know him. He's a killer. You still want to get out and go with him? It isn't that at all. It's just that he'll kill you if I don't. Sit over there. Quick now, give me the keys. All right, get in there now. Put your hands behind your back. Here, tie his feet. What are you after me for? Tie him up. I didn't have nothing to do with that mess your brother's in. I've been waiting a long time to talk to you. Come on. Now, get out of here. Uncle Roy, I thought you said you believed Johnny. What are you keeping him in jail for? Well, because he's safer there. Besides, we haven't cleared Samson's case yet. Judge Bean! Judge Bean! Excuse me just a minute, Ms. Asher. Letty! Judge! Judge! Letty! My horse is Judge. gone! Letty. Come on. Jeff, are you all right? 
Sure, I'm all right. But I don't know about Dexter. We just saw him riding out of town. Johnny was on Letty's horse. Johnny had no choice. That Grover's a killer. Let's get after him. Ranch. I know it. That's where you've been held up for the last six months, and that's where we're headed right now. Get going. And so are we. Things are liable to get rough in a hurry over there. Just a minute. You've got 5,000 in gold dust hidden around here somewhere. Where is it? You're crazy. You know I wasn't in on that holdup. But you were there. You're the only one that was close enough to get your hands on that money when the shooting started. Well, what about your brother Howard? That won't work, Johnny. He got killed in a fight in prison. I swear, I never did have my hands on that money. <laughs> you trying to tell me my own brother would double cross me? I'm telling you the truth. No. You're not. You're lying. Where's the gold? I can't waste any more time. Talk or I'll kill you. Thanks. Time was running out. Thanks for what, Johnny? For saving my life. He was just gonna let me have it. Neither one of us even fired a shot, Johnny. Well, who did? That's just what I've been wondering. prisoner back, thanks to somebody we never saw. I still think we should have talked to Samson while we were out there. Samson? He's inside waiting for you. How long has he been here? Not too long. He rode up a little while ago and said he wanted to see you, and he'd wait until you got back. Howdy, Samson. Understand you want to talk with me. That's right. I had some business in town today, and I figured before I went back to the ranch, I might as well settle this thing with this young fella. How do you mean, settle it? Well, I've been thinking it over, and after all, you and I just had a little argument. I think it's best all around if I just drop the charges. You've had kind of a quick change of heart, haven't you, Samson? That's just good business. I got a big ranch to run, and time's money. Just can't afford to throw it away on a little thing like this. So let's just forget it, huh? Let's don't forget it. You owe me six months' salary, Samson. $180. How about it? You still harping on that lie? I'm trying to do you a favor, and you're trying to swindle me out of my money. You're lying, and you know it. You owe me that money, and I'm going to get it. I don't know how, but I'll get it. You can file a claim for it, Johnny. 
I'm filing one right now. All right. So we hear the case tomorrow afternoon. Both of you be here at 2 o'clock. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous or not, a legal claim's been filed, and you'd better be here. Oh, all right. But it's a fine thing when the law takes the side of convicts against honest men. Well, what do you make of that? He can't make up his mind what he wants, can he? Yeah, he knows what he wants, all right. He's just trying to figure out the best way to get it. At least he dropped his charges against Johnny. That's right, Johnny. You're a free man now. You just keep out of trouble. I'll be here tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I will. Thanks very much for everything. What's the idea? I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Now, don't start that or you'll end right back up in trouble. All right. What do you want? But I've always wanted half that gold. I told you. I never did have the gold. I don't know where it is now. now. You couldn't sell that to Grover and you can't sell it to me. You know where it is and you're going to tell me. Are you going to end up in jail again, and this time you're going to stay for a long time? Uncle Roy, you are going to make Mr. Sampson pay Johnny his wages, aren't you? I'm going to hear the case. Well, I can tell you right now who's right about those wages. There's more than wages involved in this, lady. Yeah, that's right, Jeff's right. $5,000 in gold that's still missing, and the man's been murdered. $5,000? And a murder? You're up mighty early this morning, Uncle Roy. Something on your mind? Yeah, lots of things, Letty. They all seem to point in one direction. Well, you gonna do something about it? As soon as I get proof enough. Judge! Got you up so early, Samson. The hearing isn't until 2 o'clock. Well, I've been up since the middle of the night, Judge. I had a robbery out at my place. A robbery? Yeah, someone got in about midnight, broke into my strong box, and stole exactly $180. Now, who do you think did that? Well, I don't know. That's the exact amount Johnny Dexter claims you owe him. That's right. And there's no point in a court hearing. Now, you find that fellow, Judge, and lock him up in jail. I'll sign a robbery complaint, and we'll send him right back to the penitentiary where he belongs. Hmm. Looks to me like you've come up with a, a real piece of evidence this time, Samson. I thought you'd see it my way. Now, you let me know when you get him locked up, huh? Yeah, I'll do that. I certainly will. Heat your coffee up a bit, Uncle Roy? Yeah, just a little bit. Coffee, Hodge, come and get it. You boys sleep all right? Pretty good. That bunk in the back room is a little small for two men. Don't you think so, Johnny? Yeah, and you know something else? He snores. <laughs> You're telling me he gave her camp away one night and the Apaches nearly got it. <laughs> and you don't mind playing along with us? No, I'm glad to help. But I'm not too sure I understand it all. Well, look, we know that Samson lied about the robbery to try to frame you. But I'm thinking about murder, Grover's murder. I'm wondering if he fired that shot. Well, if he did, he saved my life. Only because he thought you knew where the gold was. That's why I think my plan will work. I bet you're right. All right, Judge, you can count me in. Fine. Now you know what to do. Jeff and I'll back you up. you got in that jail, Judge. Are you sure you got him locked up tight? Well, you don't have to worry. I don't think he'll break out of there. Good. A little time in jail will do that fella good. Maybe it'll bring him to his senses. Yeah, maybe. We'll wait and see what happens. All right. If you need me, I'm staying at the boarding house. Uh, if I need you, Samson, I'll come after you. I just hope it works. One thing about the judges' plans, they usually do work. <laughs> but isn't Johnny taking an awful chance? We're after a murderer, Letty. We've got to take a chance. 
Well, I'm ready. How about you, Jeff? You sure did. Jailbreak! 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 What do you know about that? <laughs> well, let's go, Jeff. Judge Bean! Nicest jailbreaks I ever saw. <laughs> Everybody in town knows about it, that's for sure. Well, just as long as Samson knows about it, it's all that matters. You sure you have this thing figured out right? Well, if I have, he shouldn't be too far behind us. He should be hightailing through here any minute on his way to the ranch. Uh oh. Right on time. You had it figured right, all right. Yeah, well, this is only the beginning. I hope the rest of it works out just as well. Come on, let's go. Howdy, Samson. Out hunting? You bet I'm hunting. Now that that crook's broke jail again, he'll be out here causing me more trouble. You might have thought. We found out he's a lot more dangerous than we thought. Now what? In a robbery and a jailbreak, he'll probably be trying to leave the country as fast as he can. I don't think he'll leave, though, until he picks up that gold dust he's got hidden. Gold dust? Oh, yeah. I did read something about that in the newspaper clippings. We've been in touch with the authorities in Abilene. They seem to think that Johnny had the gold all the time. Well, we'd better be riding on. If you run into him, you let us know. I will, Judge. I certainly will. Let's go and see if nothing happens to our bait. Hold it right there. Now you can get back to your digging. Look, Samson. I said dig. And when you get it out of there, I'll take it. That's not what you said before. You said we'd split. Well, now that you've showed me where it is, I don't need you. I'll get it all and you'll get a bullet. That's murder, Samson. Well, if you're a dangerous man and escaped convicts. Anybody will believe me when I say it was self-defense. Was it self-defense when you shot Grover? In a way. But he was about to kill you. That would have left me without the gold. Then I guess one more killing won't bother you. Not a bit. Start digging. Go on, dig. <laughs> Nice going, Judge, but you sure cut it close. For a moment, I thought you weren't out there. Yeah, I'm sorry to give you such a scare, Johnny. We had to hear everything. We sure did. Come on, Samson. We just put a nice new lock on the jail just for you. I'll get even with you for this. How? You're going to be locked up for murder, Samson. It's just dirt. There's no gold there. But you told me you heard from Abilene. Well, we did. They told us all about the gold. They found it on Howard Grover's ranch in Kansas. Johnny's in the clear, and you, Samson, you murdered a man for nothing. Take him away, Jeff. Let's go, Samson.
I can hear every steer, the sound of the thundering herd. It's so real, I can feel the warmth of a friendly word. So I know I must go to the land of the Pecos, there to stay. 